What's up, everyone? I'm Rick Knight. Welcome back to another video here at The Bad Philosopher. Okay, so a South Carolina mayor, uh, I believe it was Lamar County in South Carolina, Donnell Bird McPherson, if I'm saying her name right, uh, a, a black woman claims her and her husband's car was vandalized in some hate, uh, some some hate crime uh, incident. Some yellow sticky substance was found on her car and her husband's car, and uh, she's claiming that she's the victim of a hate crime. But it turns out that it's just it, it, it's pollen from the bees. Um, no, I'm not making this up. This is actually true. Most people didn't report on the story because they realized from the very beginning it's stupid. Uh, you know, the police came out. Um, uh, initially, when they when they were taking the report, they looked at the car. And they said, "We know what this is. We're from this area. That's bee pollen. All of our cars get this. Like, I don't think there's like an army of like a uh, uh, white supremacist bees are out there looking to vandalize people's cars. Um, you know, I, I seriously doubt white people came up with a new way of attacking black folks by by inventing some type of um, you know a uh, racist yellow sticky uh, 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 substance to, to walk around and spray your car with uh, and you know why would we spray it yellow why would we spray it white or something like that like this just makes no sense like this is the mayor this is the person that you actually voted and you have confidence in to do you know to do the the, the job that they're elected to do uh, this is a person who lives there this is a person who experienced season changes and and this is probably not the first time they had bee pollen on their car this this is probably not the first time that they, they they had to deal with something like this. Like you're from there, you know. That's like me walking here in New York City and there's like pigeon shit everywhere, and I say that this is some type of you know racist attack or something. Like you know what is this attack of of a, of a bunch of uh, you know uh, anti-Semitic pigeons trying to shit on me? It's like what the hell is this? This is New York City. We have pigeons everywhere. You know, of of course there's this pigeon shit everywhere. We have pigeons here. Like I don't think anything is intentionally done. Like I'll I'll, I'll go down to the Jewish community and point out pigeon shit or something. When you meanwhile there's like a thousand pigeons hanging out on the elevated train systems that we. Have. It's like what the hell is this? Like they're not here because white supremacists didn't put pigeons there to, to like shit on Jewish people. Like this is retarded. So, so uh, yeah, most people didn't report. I think one one thing one of them did. Uh, uh, Newsweek did report on it. Uh, um, you know, I, I guess because of the whole hate crime hoax that you know everybody was kind of just staying away from it. Uh, you know, hate crime hoax is something that that that's. Uh, been popping up lately people are opening their eyes and realizing that a lot of these crimes that happen are, are a hoax a lot of them are uh, an exaggeration of a very a very minor incident that's taken way out of proportion and turned into like a a, a you know a, a hate crime um incident when it's not uh this is <laughs> this is beyond uh, a, a, an exaggeration this is way beyond that when when an individual will will go to their car early morning and see it's covered by yellow sticky you know uh, uh whatever the hell pollen i mean I, I guess you didn't know it was pollen but if you see some yellow sticky stuff on your car and on your husband's car not to mention you live there and you probably dealt with this before and then you immediately call the cops and say that this is a a, a form of a hate crime how did you even make make the connection between a, a yellow sticky substance on your cars and it being a hate crime like how did you make like you already knew it was a hate crime before you even knew what it was that was sprayed on your car before you had any video footage of anyone even going over to your car and doing anything you just came out maybe early morning you see some sticky stuff on your car and you automatically jump to race racism hate crime you know bigotry that's what this is it's because I'm black it's because I'm a woman it's it's because you know whatever how did you make that connection what was the what was the thought going on in your mind when you made the connection between the, the, the two events and that you know it's just this is how they are programmed to think this is how democrats and liberals are programmed to think they view everything in terms of race gender and sexuality that is their starting point that is their foundation of all type of, of of all things politics and 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 and, and within our social uh, social structure of our country this is what they do this is what they are about they will make everything about race everything's a hate crime everything's an act of bigotry you know, even nature, yes, nature itself is racist. Um, oh, this is just insane. I mean, this is almost as bad when uh, a California professor, I, I might, I, don't hold me to it, but it might have been uh, California, uh, what is it, a university, a Davis or something, whatever. I think that was the university said that math was racist, that it was set up to, 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 
I guess not not be easy to learn for people of color. I don't know what the I don't remember the article exactly what the professor wrote, but it was just so stupid uh, to make a claim that math is racist and white people like invented math or set up math in a way that only white people could learn it, which is there, which is hilarious because I started out as an engineering um, major and I got like halfway through the program with math and, and, and I just, that was it. I was done. No, I can't do it anymore. And, and, I, and I walked away. I was like, I can't, you know, and I'm white and I'm Jewish, no less. Like you would think that I would, I would have been great at math, right? Being that it's set up for us to, to, to succeed and for you to fail. And, and, and I, I walked away. I said, I can't do this. I'm going to leave the, all the Asian and Indian students, you know, the non-white students to complete the program and become engineers because they're better equipped. <laughs> I mean, it's just insane. When you think about some of the things that they say, you know, nature is is racist now. I mean, uh, how did she get voted into office? Uh, hopefully, people of that county in what is it, Lamar, Lamar, Lamar County in South Carolina. Hopefully, they see what they're dealing with and they vote her out in the next election. Hopefully, her career in politics is over because if she is that much of a low hanging fruit politician. Uh, I'm happy she's on the Democratic side, though, because that really makes the case for us. Uh, we don't have to put much effort into showing you the liberal lunatics and, and how they are uh, and, and how intelligent they're not uh, when, when you get a, a case like this. So all right, I just wanted to put that out there. I, I just couldn't hold back. I had a. I had to talk about that one. I mean, that, that one was, uh, that one is golden. So, all right, I will see you guys on the next video. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and that's all I got for you. Peace out.